This tank is the E75. This is a German Tier 9 heavy tank, and the map is Ensk. Um, I usually like to ambush the enemy. I, I, I'm moving specifically to this position so I can get closer to the enemy. My spotting range doesn't go all the way to the edge, and I'm going to just shoot at anybody that goes by. Obviously, I got spotted. Not sure why, but they got better spotting range than me. When you see an autoloader, in general, autoloaders have weaker ammunition uh, than regular tanks. So you don't have to worry so much about penetrations. The other thing you want to do, if the enemy, they're driving across, you can do the same thing that they're doing and just drive across and hit them through all the gaps. I do that often. I did get 539 damage on the Kronwagen. That's crazy high. 539? It does 490 average. That's interesting. That guy cannot move. He's got an IS-7 on one side and me on the other side. And I just hit him for 494, and he's stuck. He was pinned down. He should have left. He really should have left. That was his chance to get out of there. Uh, it looks like I'm going to help out. And I think he's too hard to hit. So I'm looking for another target, which was right there. Uh, he died upon, upon arrival. So it looks like we got another tank over here that I might be able to hit. Those are trains. I know it looks like you can shoot through a wall or something, but those are rail cars. Not able to shoot through that. This is the best I can do is track. When you when you track, you keep him in place. You get assistance damage. Um, even if it's not strategic, you want to practice doing it at least. Wait for your ally to move. With an HE round, it would go right through him. Normally, I don't take that long to fire. I was probably... Um, trying to decide, obviously. But HE is going to damage him. I'm going to do like 200 damage with HE. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is he between something? Missed him. Oh, nice. Going to get less hit points of damage, but um, do something strate strategic for my team. Don't want to block my allies. You see how the Waffentrager had to take his turn? So I allow them to take... Ah, I wasn't loaded anyway. I was going to take it. I was going to take one for the team right there. Okay, so that's the sniping position. I spent... I guess three and a half minutes firing through there. And the other thing that's happening is people are doing it a lot more often now. Uh, so people are starting to realize that it's a fun, <laughs> fun way to play, you know? So you can see I did 519. I'm taking the hit so I can get around these guys, obviously. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I had to reset. I had to reset. So I'm going for the ram in case that the shot didn't penetrate. Uh, but he's out. I want to talk about the E75 as a tank. Obviously, it's like the Tiger II. I don't enjoy playing these tanks. Maybe you will. I'm not a heavy tank player. I don't enjoy playing heavy tanks. However, I do like the E100 and the Mouse and the Maoshin and the Type 5 Heavy and the Type 4 Heavy. You got to play this to get the E100. I've almost finished every Tier 9 tank, which is why I'm playing it. So I don't think it's an amazing tank. It's not fun to play. But if you like uh, Strong Gun, and I don't know, 
the hull is nothing special. I don't think the turret's anything special. You're not going to block damage with this. But uh, it's uh, an iconic tank, and you might enjoy it. It's a little bit sluggish. I did 2,500 damage as reported in-game, 880 spotting, 1,300 blocked by armor, and one kill.